All right, everyone, welcome back. Appreciate y'all being here today. Um, I have what I think is going to be a good video for us because it's all about food, and we know how much I love food. <laughs> uh, no, it's the top 10 must-eat dishes in Germany. It's Deanna and Phil. They always do good work. Once again, it's about food. I'm super excited to get into it. Hopefully, you guys are as well. It's about an 11-minute video, so we're just going to hop into it and see what they have to say. But before we do, if you live in Germany and or have visited Germany, what is your favorite dish? I want to see... If they've mentioned in here, and if they didn't, what one would you swap out for your favorite dish? So let me know that in the comments down below, but without further ado, let's hop into it. What's up, everybody? We are Diana and Phil, and this video is all about German food that you need to eat. A question that I get often is, what food should I try when I visit Germany? So we put together a list of top 10 dishes to try when in Germany. Number one, Ooh. sausages. Ooh, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> there are so many delicious sausages in Germany, some in all shapes, sizes, colors, and lengths. <laughs> Yeah, so this could this be a going. whole video by itself. So we're just gonna mention a few of the more popular wieners. A very famous one is currywurst, which we'll originated in Berlin post-World War II by using ketchup and curry powder from British soldiers in Germany and making the famous curry ketchup over a grilled pork sausage. It's one of the most popular street foods in Germany and a must try if you're ever in Berlin. I There's try also that. the Thuringia sausage from the German state Thuringia. And I personally love this one a lot. The minced meat is local from the German state with spices and usually garlic. The oldest known reference to the Thuringia sausage dates back to 1404. And this one is definitely on the smokier side and I really love it. There is also the famous Weisswurst. If you're in Munich <laughs> or Bavaria, this is also a must try. It translates to white sausage and it's a very lighter area sausage. The traditional version is made with minced veal and pork back bacon. And if you order a Weisswurst in Bavaria, it will often be served with sweet mustard and you can eat it with or without its skin. The next sausage is the Nuremberger Rostbratwurst. These sausages are small and very flavorful. They are often served in restaurants with a side of a potato salad or on the streets in a bread roll. The recipe can be dated they back to like 1300. Art. Just stereotypical sausage links, you know? And a must try if you're ever in Nuremberg. There is also the Frankfurter Würstchen, which is very common sausage meant for boiling. This one is more common in at-home meals um, when we aren't outside and grilling. A big stick of meat. This is alive. You look so happy. <laughs> Number two, Rouladen. Rinderroulade means beef roulade, and it is a German meat dish where a thin slice of beef is rolled with bacon, onions, and pickles, and then cooked as a roll. It is very good, and Germans often have it for bigger or more important hot... Americans, we do unhealthy foods. Why don't we do this? <laughs> Holidays or family events. It is a little bit more of a winter dish, though. Yeah, and there's also the coal rollata or cabbage rolls, which are minced meat wrapped in cabbage leaves and baked together. This dish is one of my favorite dishes, and I know a lot of cabbage roll style dishes are very popular throughout the world. In Germany, it's more of a savory dish, and we've attempted to make this at home okay. several times ourselves. Here we go, here we go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Are you ready? Well, wow. it looks cooked through. Yeah, that's a little so dry, but we'll see. It looks we'll see. good. It looks I mean, good. I don't know if it's proper, Number but it looks three, good. Number three, schnitzel. Schnitzel is a must try when visiting Germany. It's just a thin slice of meat that has been tenderized and breaded before frying. For the meat, you can usually choose between pork and chicken, but there's also the more traditional veal variant or trending vegetarian options. The most famous one is probably the Wiener Schnitzel, which is originally from Austria, as Wien is the German word for Vienna. But the schnitzels are everywhere in Germany, and there are other types of schnitzels, like my favorite, the Jäger Schnitzel. It's like a hunter's or huntsman's schnitzel, which is a schnitzel with mushroom sauce. Can't do mushrooms. Yeah. Can't do mushrooms. And my my personal favorite is probably the chicken schnitzel with hollandaise sauce. Oh, yeah. Yum. Yum. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Wasps. This food is not for you. Number four, Käsespätzle. 
Käse Spätzle is a very popular German dish originating in the south of Germany, but you'll find it throughout Germany in most restaurants. And for that dish, hot small noodle or dumpling things and grated cheese are mushed together and finely decorated with fried onions. It is one of my favorite dishes when it's a good one. You can say that it's like mac and cheese's cousin. I was gonna say, it kind of quite the same. Thing. It kind of gave me a mac and cheese vibe right there. Thing though, and the fried onions on top are a must. Mmm, mmm, dude, I think the best bite. But I, I like what she said. When it's a good one, it's like this one can be very hit and miss. A lot of foods can be, but it looks like this one can be very, very hit and miss with it. It's either whoa good or just yeah. So the ones with the the onions in it, these fried onions. Yeah, yeah, so that's a, that salad's for you and that small plate is for you. This is all for me. Before we continue drooling over delicious dishes, we need you to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Bitte und danke. And if you want to further support us, you can do that at patreon.com slash Deanna and Phil, where we make additional videos. And now let's see what else we can eat. Number five, fish brötchen. Fish brötchen or fish sandwich is a go-to snack, especially in the north of Germany. It's a fish sandwich usually served with onions, pickles, some type of sauce like a remoulade or creamy horseradish sauce. Matjes, a type of herring, is probably the most popular one, but you can find fish brötchen with yeah, salmon, only, mackerel, I'm not a seafood fish and guy. other <laughs> fish as well. Yeah, when we were in Hamburg, we tried the Nordseekrabben brötchen, which is made up of tiny, tiny shrimps. Yeah. It was really, really good. Yeah. I don't like it. But it was freaking expensive. <laughs> uh, that one was 10 euros for one fish brötchen. That's like a once in a lifetime meal right there. All right, I'm going for the big bite. If you drop one of these bad boys, it's like Euro down the drain. Number six, Schweinshaxe. Schweinshaxe is a very iconic dish, especially popular, again, in the south of Germany, and a common dish, for example, at the Oktoberfest. It's a roasted pork knuckle that is just so good. It has a crispy bacon outside layer, and then a soft, fatty, flavorful layer underneath, <laughs> and then just slow-cooked tender meat that falls right off its bone. It's absolutely delicious. I'm wanting You're one. drooling. Yeah, and I think if you're a fan of barbecue, you have to try that when you're in Germany. Yeah, it's really good. Number seven, Mettbrötchen. This next one is Mettbrötchen or Hackepeter, and it's raw ground pork or met that is seasoned with salt and pepper and sometimes garlic and other spices. And then it's eaten raw on a bread roll and sometimes served with onions and butter underneath. Yeah, it's definitely something for the more daring eaters. It's very tasty, but very unusual texture as well. I've had it a few times and I believe all of them have been on camera. <laughs> so I will say if you're going to try this, go to a proper butcher or restaurant with an open mind. Number eight, Maybe. Flammkuchen. Maybe. Flammkuchen is a pizza-like dish with a very thin crust, usually served with onions, bacon, and a cream fresh topping. It originates from the Alsace region, which is in the border area between France and Germany, and it has kind of a blended culture of both countries. Yeah, I love Flammkuchen. It's such a wonderful light meal for me. There are a lot of variations, some with mushrooms and different cheeses. Some are even as a sweet it dessert. Looks very interesting. Apples. But my favorite is I don't know I don't know I would try this because pizza is probably my favorite meal and it's very similar to that so I would probably try this the standard onion and bacon version I love it flam kuchen it's the best mmm look at the twist back when schwiebel over the lecker sehr lecker number nine döner kebab not McDonald's not Burger King not Subway or anything else the döner kebab is Germany's most popular fast food. And it is also the best value meal on this list and an absolute must try if you're ever in Germany. It's a wholly delicious meal that I miss dearly whenever we're not in Germany. So basically it's a sandwich style dish with rotisserie meat, usually chicken or veal, and then it's served with some different sauces and veggies like tomatoes, cucumbers, lettuce, white cabbage, and if it's a good one, red cabbage as well. This specific dinner style this was created <laughs> in Berlin by a Turkish this restaurant talking here to me. who combined <laughs> the rotisserie meat and mixed salad <clears throat> into bread. It has fully become the staple in Germany. There are vegetarian falafel versions as well for those who aren't meat eaters. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's getting things all over his beard lately. It's so good. I don't know. And it's one of the best I have ever had. Really? Seriously, yeah. Number 10, bread and pastries. We cannot forget about That's German bread and of course other baked I'm genuinely shocked it wasn't number two. <laughs> It's from German bakeries. Germany is known for the fresh bread and there are a lot of delicious different bread types and there are a ton of bakery items and sweet treats. Mm. I love them. <laughs> My very first trip to Germany, we made a video trying a lot of delicious snacks from the local bakeries and years later, I'm still finding and trying new pastries and cakes from each city in Germany. Honestly, there are too many to oh list gosh. out, so go and watch one of our other food videos if you're interested. But one of my all-time favorites is a Nuss Ecke, which translates to nut corner. It's a short crust pastry base topped with some type of jam layer and then roasted nuts on top. Another one is a Friends Brochen. It's like a way denser croissant with cinnamon and butter. I love it. Yeah, and for the bread part, my recommendation my, would be to go to a bakery already. and <laughs> choose from any of the darker, heavier, denser options, maybe with or without seeds. The further you go away from the standard white bread, the better. And one of my favorites, though, is the Laugenbrötchen. That's a pretzel-style bread roll. It's very nice. Number 11, side dishes. As a bonus, we quickly wanted Getting to mention bonus. some sites that are very popular here and will probably come with one of the dishes we've previously mentioned. The first popular site being Knödel or Klöße, which are just boiled dumplings. There are rice and potato-based versions, very commonly served with most meat dishes. Another one is sauerkraut, which is finely cut fermented cabbage. It's one of the most famous sides and traditionally served warm, with some type of pork dish. Yep. There's also potatoes and potato salad everywhere. There are different variations of potato salad though. There's a popular debate between mayonnaise-based potato salad and then vinegar-based potato salads. I personally prefer a vinegar-based potato salad, but a good potato salad is still a good potato <laughs> salad, you know? Can't complain. All right, so that was our long list of popular dishes that you should try. And of course, there are way, way more like Labskaus from Hamburg and other regional dishes as well. Let us know which of these dishes you would like to try the most. Well, once again, they always do a good video. It made me super hungry. Thankfully, it's almost lunchtime, so I can go feed my fatness. Um, but that was interesting. I, 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 I love... This is going to sound weird. I love meat. <laughs> so Germany just screams my, up my alley right there. You know, hey, we're like the king of meats. So uh, that, that all looked really good. Um, like I said in the beginning, if you're from Germany or been there, what did they leave off? What's your favorite meal? What would you substitute out? If I had to get rid of one of them, it would be the fish sandwich, personally. I'm just not a seafood guy, but everything else looked good on there, except for the raw pork. That one, a little weird for me, but hey, I need to try it first, you know what I mean? So... Thank you all so much for being here. If you liked the video, consider liking it and sharing it with all your friends. Consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out tremendously and it's free for you. Other than that, thank you all so much and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.